Hi YouTubers, Mom Day Family Man. Hope you're doing well. So as I'm building my, you know, call it uh, car bug out bag or just emergency bag, I'm starting to think about the water that I will need in the bag. And I've noticed a lot of people will carry a Nalgene bottle or a clean canteen bottle and some filters, maybe even one of those UV lights, but they don't actually carry any water with them. Um, so one of the things I was thinking about is buying some of these packets, the emergency, these are uh, Daytrex emergency drinking water. And these are great, they're four ounces, and I can like kind of stuff them into the bag where I have some extra space. The issue that I can see arising is because I live in an area that freezes during the winter and gets you know well below you know freezing temperature, and in the summer it gets easily into the 90s and sometimes even the hundreds. You know the interior of the car is either going to be freezing or going to be uppers you know in the uppers of 140 degrees. Um, so I'm wondering how durable these pouches are and to see what happens if we freeze it or even when these things heat up um, in the long term. So I'm going to do a few tests. I'm going to um, videotape some of the tests but my final um, test during the summer there's no way to really reenact a summer um, you know a summer the summer months you know being three months of being you know 80 90 degree weather without actually being in the car. So my final test will be a car test this summer. Um, but until then, let me show you what, how I froze these and tested these and how I heated them up just to, you know, for a half hour and see, you know, how they last in 140 degrees just for 30 minutes. So take a look. All right guys, let's do this testing. So what I'm going to do is take one of these, put it in a freezer Ziploc bag, just like this, seal it up, and then I'm going to take another Ziploc bag, put a bottle of water, this is a 16.9 fluid ounce. That in, in the bag just in case. Get some of the air out. Open it up. There we go. And then we're going to put it in the freezer. There's the bottle. Emergency drinking water. Put it in the freezer. We'll come back tomorrow and see what happens. This out. So here is the water bottle. And uh, actually, it looks intact. I'm very surprised as for it to be in the freezer for 24 hours. I'm surprised that it hasn't exploded. Nothing. Alright, let's check out the emergency water. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Here it is. I thought my wife, my, my wife moved it. This actually looks very intact too. No holes, no nothing. We're gonna let this melt and make sure there's no uh, no holes. All right, guys. Let's see if this has any leaks. So you can see I'm squeezing. Nothing's coming out. So after been in the freezer for 24 hours you can see no leaks 
All right, so my research tells me that in a normal day where temperatures can reach 90 to 100 degrees outside, the interior temperature can re easily reach 140 degrees. Is usually around the maximum. So I'm going to do a simple test just to heat it up for 30 minutes um, at 140 degrees. Um, I would love to do it longer but because energy costs are so high, if I ran it longer, my electric bill is going to be like $5,000. So this is just an initial test just to see what happened at 140 degrees for 30 minutes to see if the bag could even hold the temperature without melting. Um, so we'll see what happens. And if it goes well, I'll take a few bags, put it in the car this summer, um, leave it in there for a month, maybe two, take it out make sure there's no leaks um, and then I'll do a taste test to make sure that none of the bag is you know uh, distorting the, t the taste of the water and I'll do it all summer if uh, things go well and I will definitely keep you updated wow, that was quick See it? I'll put this on top. And cook it. Alright, I'm going to stop the camera now and I'll come back around three minutes. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, systems all go, 3, 2, 1, we have liftoff! Alright, so I'm going to get this bad boy out, hopefully it's not too hot, it's actually lukewarm, you can actually see there's no puncture holes, Nothing leaking out. All right, I'm gonna get a cup ready. Cut this open. Pour this in. It's actually not that much. It's only four ounces. All right. Yeah barely warm. Alright, let's give this a drink. Mm, tasty. Tastes like water. Yummy. Might have some more. Want some? Tastes really good. Tastes like bath water. Except for, it's not. It's clean. Alright. That deserves some extra testing this summer. Alright guys, I'm just going to do a little hand test. I'm just going to try to pop the bag just with my hands. Not rip it or anything, just put some pressure on it. And I might get wet, hopefully not. Pretty strong guy, but just putting some pressure on this doesn't seem to be popping it. All right, let's move on to stepping on it. All right, guys, this is the step test. I'm a pretty big guy, so but this should be more um, more pressure that you put on the package than, than you normally would if you would just be stuffing it into a bag. So this is really to extremes. So let's take a look. I'm just gonna slightly step on it, put my weight on it, and move off. It did not break. 
Let's try that again. Slightly step on it, put my weight on it, and step off. And it's pretty much holding my whole body. Because I'm actually lifting up my other foot. I don't know if you can see that. Other foot's up off the ground. It's holding my whole weight. So that's pretty good. Let's try the jump test. Here we go. That did it. <laughs>